Earth, our home which provides us with a seemingly endless amount of resources, food, and shelter. Earth has managed to sustain life for a countless amount of years. Even through overpopulation, pollution, and deforestation, Earth has never failed to cater to our wants and needs. Yet all seems beautiful only until Mother Nature decides to strike back. Let's go back to January 12, 2010. An earthquake struck in Haiti, severely devastating the entire nation. The point in which it took place was Port-au-Prince, completely flattening the capital city. To this day, Haiti continues to recover from the tragedy. In this short documentary, we will examine the catastrophic factors of the earthquake. Topics including the preparation of Haiti, what can be done to prevent damage in the future, and the impact on those affected will all be discussed. To understand why earthquakes happen, scientists have come up with the concepts of plates, not these types of plates. We're talking about giant pieces of land and bodies of water. The earthquake in Port-au-Prince occurred as Haiti lies between two seismic fault lines. When the Caribbean plate and the North American plate slid past each other, tremendous friction was created, releasing seismic waves. As a result of the earthquake, destruction was nothing but inevitable. According to CNN, 300,000 were injured, 1.5 million were initially displaced, and 230,000 to 316,000 deaths have been estimated. The amount of casualties, however, is not only due to the 7.0 Richter scale earthquake. Haiti is a poor nation which lacks in simple faculties such as education, gender equality, and money. The primary factor leading to the carnage is a poorly constructed infrastructure throughout Haiti. 90% of buildings, especially houses, generally contain of three main ingredients, making them extremely brittle and rigid. These ingredients include twigs, cement, and soil. As a result, houses almost immediately collapse, killing, trapping, and injuring Haiti citizens. Additionally, an error in planning caused many buildings to collapse as they were built on hills and slopes with improper foundations. Geologists have long considered Haiti as a major seismic hazard. The last major earthquake in Haiti was in 1849. This is why the next one was a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. What emerged in 2010 was evidently one of, if not, the worst earthquakes in Haiti history. You may be wondering, how prepared was Haiti for an earthquake and how were people's lives affected? Well, all major buildings were destroyed including the presidential palace. No building was immune from the disaster. The economy of Haiti became crippled and water supply and food became scarce and contaminated. For weeks, electricity and telephone lines were cut off. As a result, diseases like cholera became prevalent after the earthquake and killed thousands more as well. Haiti was not prepared at all for the earthquake as, no more, as there were no building codes in case of an earthquake and no government emergency plan to deal with one. Also, due to Haiti's low 60% literacy rate, many citizens could not prepare or learn how to deal with an earthquake. A major error in planning was the fact that the Haitian fault line had not been studied extensively. Due to a lack of researchers and a proper tool such as the seismograph in Haiti, the country could not get ready for an earthquake. The poor road system and the safety concerns also prevented researchers from abroad to visit Haiti. In Haiti, researchers have been working with people to help improve their awareness to earthquakes, such as developing hazard maps to identify the movement of faults over the past five years. In order to make new local buildings, for example, understanding the location is crucial to future projects. One way to bring awareness and warn the public is by having local seismologists work in Haiti, as currently, their presence is rare. Even if new instruments and resources are installed, 
they won't be sustainable since researchers are necessary to be working hands on the ground. These qualified workers can ensure that good building codes are in place and maintained. Furthermore, their presence will help campaign for earthquake awareness in government. Since more local scientists are needed, the introduction of a geological science program at Hades State University will help generate a new generation of students. There are also many local Haitian experts who have accurately predicted tectonic activity for many years. The knowledge and techniques passed on from generations of Haitians can be used to aid seismologists. Although Haiti may not have the financial means for complex instruments, the use of simple yet accurate devices for predicting landslides and tectonic movement is a solution to minimize the inevitable future damage. To consolidate a plan for the next big earthquake, gathering existing data on the transform boundary of the Caribbean plate and the North American plate will develop a better understanding for seismologists. Using and understanding simple maps such as this GIS tectonic plate map can help improve our understanding of what's beneath us and better prepare ourselves for future quakes.